okay, I wanted you to have these prices before the market opens so you can use them for your trading today. And this is, outside of prediction points, probably one of my favorite tools that we have, if not my favorite outside of prediction points. We have some stuff we're working on that's pretty cool, but these are just incredibly useful. And a lot of our traders uh, really like these. This is definitely a fan favorite, that's for sure. This is really simple. You can watch a video. You can watch some of the training videos on it, but I'm going to just break it down. This is our key turn indicator. It's available in the Pro Suite. And the way this works is really pretty simple. Above these prices, we're looking for the next one up here. And below it, we're looking for the next one down here. So above here, we're bullish, and below here, we are bearish, looking for there. And above here, we're bear bullish, looking for back up to here. Below here, we're bearish, looking for lower. There's no other, there's either one, two, or three of these prices. It just depends, and you're going to see. So we're just going to run through those, and you might want to write these down or mark them on your chart and just keep a note of it so you can come, so you can reference it throughout the day. I would put them on your chart, but that's me. So we've got 34.68.75 on the ES, 34.52.75, and 34.31 quarter on the ES. Okay, let's go look over at the NQ. The NQ, we have uh, 11.586 and three quarters. Then we have 11.567 and three quarters, and then 11.537. So you can already see this price action overnight in Globex is traded like this. Little probe up above it. This, they may want to come down here and test this 11,537 area. Now, let's jump over here. This is the Russell. What you can see is there's only two prices here on the Russell. And they're bunched up right here together. So 16,419 and 16,42,4. So those are very close together. That's the way it goes sometimes is they look like that. Okay, this is crude oil. We have 42.30, 41.59, and 40.86. So far, we're just trading in between here. So how would you handle that? Well, I would say as I get lower down to here, I'm looking for buy opportunities for push up to here. If we were to break any of these, look for a run. If we were to break here, for sure, I'd be looking for a run down. I want to see strength if that's what I see happen. Okay, here is uh, gold, and you can already see that on gold we've broken out above here. And now gold's sort of off to the races over here. And we've already had a really nice move here, uh, 17 or 18 points off of that on gold right there. Okay, and then last but certainly not least, the YM. Uh, let's see, 28.462, 28.442, and then 28.346. And again, they may want to come back down here and test that one. And then we'll see if that can't hold. Then I would look for sellers to step in and have strength selling. If it can hold, then I'm looking for them to come back up and break out and run higher again. Okay, so that's about as straightforward as it gets. And um, hopefully you put those on your charts and you can reference them here throughout the day. Definitely a fan favorite. And again, this is this one is key turns and it's available inside of the pro suite.